Let's see if we're live. And we are! Yay! Hello and welcome to all the men and women of the West. I'm Joe. Here with me is my delightful co-host, Dan. Let's see if we can't just... Hello and greetings. We zoomed in. Yeah. Our internet isn't exactly the best. And just before I do that, I want to... Let's share uh, a few things. Present. Because um, um, I have way too many tabs open. So first off is Grimdark's new video, which looks great and very sexy. And this, let me just close a few things up real quick to load stuff better. And Grimdark's uh, video here is part of a series which all the Conan tubers are doing in order to celebrate Howard Day. Well, technically it's two days, one each one back to back. So the host of this year's playlist is going to be Zero Sum 716, who's a great guy, the Quebecois, and um, he's hosting it as the smallest channel because that's that was Grimdark's idea. Grimdark being the biggest of the content tubers and probably one of the best YouTubers out there. Arguably, he's essentially the girl next Gondor or Red Book of Howard. The man is brilliant and very Texan. <laughs> so can't argue uh, with that. Yeah. So the idea is, um, yeah. So I'm going to try to see if I can pin in the comment section after the stream the link to the live stream we're going to be doing tomorrow of Zero Sum. This is going to be a live stream where we just celebrate Howard. And we're going to have all four really great uh, YouTubers dedicated to Conan there. But in the meantime, I figured we'd celebrate Howard Day with maybe a 45-minute to an hour-long chop-chop match. And also kind of try to market to people Howard Day and the playlist Zero Sum is going to be compiling for us all. Because... You know, if even if this channel, um, our gaming channel on YouTube, and our gaming channel over on Twitch are teeny tiny, every little bit helps. So without further ado, let's share screen. Enough of my jabbering, because nobody's really here for that. Uh, not even Dan. And here, for here we go. Yeah, exactly. Um, now I got to try to figure this one out. Oh, and I already screwed up. I went continue on instinct. I don't even remember where I'm at. Um, but yeah, um, today was my Howard Day video over on the Brothers Crin. So, oh, that's nice. Quit to menu. Um, tomorrow we're going to be uh, publishing a shared uh, video. And let's see. Um, it's been a while since I did this. <laughs> wow, right, Dan? Yeah. All right, I'm just going to go hide with this. All right, let's see. Let's try to get this right. There. Did you get my invite? Yep. 
He said, accept. All right. We just need to wait. Okay, we start. This game is very glitchy. Blood and plunder. I will hold the line. Oh. Hopefully, I don't uh, lose uh, connection. Uh, All of a sudden, yeah, I know. I hope I don't lose my connection. Okay. Now, World of Conan has way more stuff available because, you know, we always play on his, um, I don't know what to say, quest? Uh, whatever. Actually, is the volume working? Um, let's see. Um, hmm. Ah, oh, whatever. So, where is that first route? All right. I never buy any of the first set of weapons and whatnot, because we'll probably find something The media. Yeah, there's something off about my uh, Oh, well. Popularity of her game. Why wasn't there ever a uh, her game game made? Uh, I guess it didn't get the full not notoriety of bad uh, stuff like. There's a heart right there. Like uh, Dragonlance or whatnot. Yeah, which brings up another question. Why wasn't there a decent Dragonlance game video game made? <laughs> Good question, That's right? That's a fair question. Parce que tous les jeux, they don't look too great. And they're early 90s and late 80s and stuff. Nothing really of interest. Oh, shoot. All right, here we go. I don't see. Lost track of my character for a minute. Watch out. You look like you're not doing so great. Here. I'm just going to go for one moment. I just need to go check something.
Okay, Jeff, are you coming in? No? Yeah, sorry about that. No, I'm going to just quickly check. Yeah, we don't have any viewers. We're bare out. Them. Yeah. Just, okay. You know I like this trident. How about we go back and make sure you're healed? Oh, it's that way. Let's get... once asking us is would be would we be interested in doing Barsoom content and uh, you know what? I'll grab the picnic party I guess touch you should get that helps with the world. Uh, and that I think is more sci-fi, and it was written I think in the 1910s and 20s. And as for our main character, a Confederate soldier, I think John Carter is his name. And I was recently taking a look at that, and I was thinking. <laughs> to maybe do is maybe revive our sci-fi corner channel yeah that would be something yeah, because earlier we were talking about reviving the history corner and to also start getting into... Oh, whoops. I just noticed a path to the left. Is getting into some folklore and history. Now on the history corner real quick. Yeah, I work on that translation of the blues. I might do some video just like a video journal on my translation of that. Um, but, because I want to translate it into something modern English and into French. And I'm thinking, oh, I think there's a chest here. Uh, uh, let's go back. I need healing. And one thing I was thinking about doing since Grimdark brought up Barsoom was maybe we put that on the sci-fi corner. And we maybe do a chapter by chapter set of updates. Right. Every year. Yeah. But it would probably okay. take a second fiddle to the main channel. And we might not have the most advanced uh, flash images and such for it. But either way, like, it's semi superhero stuff, semi sci fi stuff, the uh, Barsoom story, apparently, with a dash of Conan. Mm hmm. Does that interest you, Dan? Yeah. Okay. So, because it was, I think, one of the precursors to Pulp. To an extent, or at least 1920s pulp stories. And looking it up, 
personal fantasy and whatnot elements. And it's obvious that Barsoom helped inspire some Star Wars and superheroes. You get that? So I'm thinking that this might be good for the odd uh, uh, video out there because we got to the And Rickard did, did express interest in that. I'm not sure. And me as well. Yeah. And you know what? Barson does look a little interesting. It's not a Howard, but or Howard related, but I think it would be that was something we should discuss. Mm. Oh, you should get drop board. Uh, unless you don't want to. Oh, I didn't even notice those. Yeah, I was. My HP was. Uh, I was half uh, out of HP, so figured it was more important to heal. So yeah. We're considering doing our reading. And I gotta actually get back to putting up the uh, our Cobra Kai reviews. And they're all pretty much recorded. We just need to start uploading them. And maybe schedule them all for uh, the art and literature corner. So short, bro. And back away. Oh, never mind. Uh, those and maybe. I gotta find the Rocky Two file because we did a review of Rocky Two. Yeah. So yeah, art and literature corner. Like the art corner in the sci-fi corner, we gotta continue, and maybe the Poke corner. on my weapon. No oh, these were black. Oh, 
I got all the help I need. Wow, you're really doing damage. I don't care, I'm going for him. No more monkey business. No. I didn't want to... I was tired of monkeying on with him. Mm. Oh my gosh, look at my health. Wanted to check this out. Oh wow, we have a viewer. <laughs> really? No, I shouldn't go. Oh, yeah, we have someone viewing. So welcome, wow. welcome. We're celebrating Howard Day. Yeah, it's just that the gaming corner and our Twitch account are very, very small. Oh wow, drop an extra bomb with each. Uh, uh, Bomb. Hmm. About that. I'll do this. Nice. Yeah, you can grab that bow and arrow if it's better than what you currently have. Um, don't buy any weapons. I might try to grab a no problem. Better stuff. I'm just kind of examining it. Uh, let's give you a warhammer. I'm gonna go with this sword, the obsidian long sword. I'll take the long sword. Let's get going. <coughs> I 
hate those things. Alright. Mm. Alright, so that's good. What would be your idea for the ideal um for Dane video game, Dan? Because you're the Bredane reader more than I am. Yeah. Nice. So what would be your idea? And then we'll get back to discussing Howard. I just want to kind of hear what you think on that one. All right, let's... Ah. Uh short bow not it's not better than mine because so i kind of have an idea of what would i think would work avec for dane something like bells with symphonia in game part and story time style, with all the books kind of brought in to the same like 40 to 60 hour, 60 hour game or something would that work yeah Hold on, no, okay. Given the story. All right. So, would uh, Tales of Style work for, for Dane? I think that would work best. Okay, so you agree. Yeah, All pardon right. me. I just had to turn down the... Uh, volume of the game yeah now what about um a now let's focus on howard because this is what this is supposed to be about what would um now we've discussed conan but what would be the ideal for like other stories Oh, and we've also discussed Call. But I, I had in mind, actually, now that I think about it, um, uh, an idea for maybe... Oh, wow. Let me check my sword. Uh, not, not much better. Um, I had an idea for what would work as a Solomon Cain type of game. And I think to an extent, this might sound weird, but maybe something along the lines of The Witcher might work for Solomon Cain. Yeah. But with a few key differences. And I don't think there should be like bounties. I don't know if that works too well with Solomon Cain. And holy Mac, you just tore me a new one. Wow, jerks! All right, I'm gonna circle around. Pick a door. All right, be very careful. We should have probably gotten the trap ward. There's uh, a chest. Uh, But for a Solomon Cain game, I think there would, instead of bounties, be something like requests. Yeah. 
because Solomon Cain is a very, very different kind of animal from Geralt. There probably also wouldn't be the same love interest type of options in such a game. Because Solomon Cain, I believe, is a uh, Puritan priest. So, but still, a monster hunter game with him would be really cool. Although, I wonder if there already is a game like that. Not, I just don't know about it. I've been out of the gaming loop for about 15 years. So, that kind of... Oh, wow. I didn't think he'd spin. Towards me. Shoot. I gotta get out of there. And I gotta heal. Jeez. What is it? Pick it up pick on the French frog day? I'm joking. Actually, I almost forgot the other day, but we we have a uh, Sunday stream also coming up for Power Rangers. But once in a while, he's a ranger. We're very close to 350 subs. We're at 349. It'd be nice to finally get over that hump. Oh, shoot. Poison. Don't forget to heal, Dan. Oh, okay. I forgot. Didn't realize I uh, was that low. So busy avoiding... Uh, yeah, I know. The pit traps and whatnot. Smarty enemies. Yeah. At this point, I'm just avoiding them. Because... All right. There. We killed a bunch. in him. You know what I still wonder about? Why there what? are more uh, cult pastiche stories. I know Conan and Solomon Cain are much more popular, with good reason. They always are. But it's just the Cole thing that just confuses me because, in a lot of ways, he's also pretty ripe for pastiche stories. And the thing about Conan, while he's probably the sexier character in a lot of ways, and by that I mean um, he's much more popular and there's more potential for great stories and epic ones. Going in. I think that um, there's more blanks in the history of Cole. Most of Conan's yeah. life has been pretty filled out. So I just tend to think that, you know, it's kind of time to start filling out the Cole lore. You could get that heart. Okay. Why on?
there had to yes the poison kicked in Check on our faithful viewer. Oh, uh, Twitch again. Welcome, welcome. Feel free to comment in the chat if you have something you want to say about any topic. But oh, right, I got it. Jeez, the price of meat. Hmm. I'll buy this. couldn't afford the uh, stronger hammer but then again i would focus ah. on uh, armor i should have probably bought it for you That's not good. I got, I got ganged up on. Yeah, and my lady down. I'll take out Axe Boy. Bombs. This is much harder without Zero and World of Command to babysit us. I don't have a key. Oh, you can chuck your hammer now. Yep. Oh, wait, shoot. I'm going back. Shuvall, kiss all down, silly. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm taking that. Pretty much deals it. Am I in damage? E. I just vit. Wow, I'm almost dead. If only I could, you know, I'm thinking about maybe giving you my poison thing. And this way you would be able to chuck your hammer at everyone. And it would uh, um, poison, poison everyone. Yeah, poison everyone um, with your hammer. I wonder if that might not be more strategic. Shoot! Ah! That's annoying. I hate it when they do that. Death by lag. The 
me at that thing. Come on, there's got to be shops around here. Thank you, although I wish there was meat. All right. Um, let's see. I'm chucking uh, poison. There, I now have chicken champ. I got help. rid of uh, Midas Touch. Oh, actually. Yeah, I can't I really just swap for it. Yeah. You have poison? Yep. Then you grab my. Okay, good. Because you with poison is way better. I'm just trying to think strategically. Maybe this is something that could solve some of our problems. All right, let's keep our distance from them because I don't want to be ganged up on. I'm not exactly great on health. Oh, yeah, this is way better. This is way better. Indeed. Ah. Keep our distance. I'll go deal with Axe Boy. I like it that uh, here it is. Everything in your I, way gets I poison. throw it, and it's pretty much uh, three poison. Uh... Much better. Yeah, I needed that. So we're almost at the boss, so we can lose to him. Enfin une clé pour moi. Parce que toi, tu les prends tout. Ah. Pourquoi tu fais ça? Ok, Dan, you're fired. We're getting a new Dan. You know what I wonder? What? Well, I wonder a lot of things, but I wonder what Howard would have thought of this game. I know Tolkien would have thought video games were just a waste of time. I think, or at least for little kids, which I get where that point of view comes from. But I wonder what Howard would have thought. Because in some ways, Howard seemed a lot more chill. In a lot of ways, but Tolkien seemed more like a grandpa. From the word go, even in his youth, in a very positive way, it's just, you know, where Tolkien, even when you read up, when I read his letters from his younger days, he seems like, you know, a grandfatherly type. Well, Howard just seems like he was just really chill. 
and the kind of guy you hung out with and enjoyed a good D and D session with, like. All right. Oh boy, can you chuck at him? These arrows, though. Ah, oh, shoot. Now I'm just gonna wait for him to die. I ain't going near him. Next section. But like I said, I just wonder what Howard would have thought of this game. I think he might have wasted a bit of time on it. Yeah. But on the other hand, now that I think about it, I don't know if there's um, any Lord of the Rings games that are, you know, particularly um, just fun or something. Oh, the sword was a lot better than your hammer? Oh, yeah. Okay. No hearts. All right, let's go lose to this guy. Just, you're not. Okay, still got our viewer. I know, it's funny. Like, still got our viewer. I'm glad. Oh, boy. How does he move that fast? Heal, Dan. Jeez. Get out of there. He's going to summon ice spikes. Uh, or he's just going to spin like a moron. All right, we're going to need your poison work. Okay, let me see if I can heal both of us. Oh, right, I got. I think I got rid of Picnic Party. Darn. Honestly, if I could, I would have given you the meat. Because it's much, like... Okay, you're stuck. Ah, shoot. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this guy. Ah, cripes, I hate him. All right. <laughs> Wasted our chance. He tosses his stupid axe. Goody, poison. You get that. We gotta pump up your health. I'm going for him. I'm dead. Oh, yeah. He's totally just a bash at everything in his way. You're doing great. Until you didn't. Game over. You have died. Game like over. Greasy fingers, bad teammates. <laughs> Greasy fingers. Bad teammates. Ouch. Man, this game really is judgmental towards me. Wait, level... Oh, okay, good. Level 28. I think I'm stuck. Can you click? Okay, there's another glitch. Do you have it? Dan? Uh, 
Okay. Um, Dan's muted for some reason. And since Dan is muted and I can't get anywhere, I'm just going to close the game. Sorry. I only have, on my new computer, I only have two USB uh, yeah, ports, and I have to switch between my mic, my controller, and my uh, mouth. No problem. So that was our playthrough so far. Let us know in the comment section how badly we did. How badly we did. And if you're watching this on YouTube, that is. And I have to shave for tomorrow. Oh, I'm just a slow. Don't forget to smash that like button if you're watching this on YouTube. And subscribe if you're watching it on Twitch or on YouTube, both. Doesn't hurt. And hopefully we'll get another stream in tomorrow. And we'll get another stream in down the road. We're hoping to start continuing the gaming corner. I want to continue my Latro quest, but it's kind of hard because of all the videos we have to make. And we have a bunch Hello? that have to get made for Monday and Tuesday. So yeah. So I hope everyone stays cool and join us tomorrow, at least for the Robert E. Howard celebration stream with the other Conan tubers. It's going to be great.